Sim Racing chassis provided by Next Level Racing. Check them out at nextlevelracing.com. Welcome to Inside Sim Racing and our 2015 PlayStation 4 Wheel Buyer's Guide. I'm Darren Ganji and alongside me here is John Sable. And this is not going to be a review. It is not going to be a shootout or a comparison of these. We're basically going to tell you what's available to use on the PlayStation 4, the options of these wheels, and the pricing. We'll also let you know if they are natively supported in the PlayStation user interface and which titles they are compatible with. We have six wheel and pedal sets for this guide, one from Fnatic, one from Logitech, and four from Thrustmaster. We're going to start with the least expensive and work our way up the ladder. Exactly. And as Darren said, this isn't a review, but if you do want to see reviews, you can check them out in the links below where we have reviewed all the wheels except for one, the Thrustmaster T80, which is going to be the first one we're going to talk about. The T80 was released in July of 2014 as an entry-level wheel for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. There is an officially licensed version and a Drive Club version as well. It retails for under $100 and is a non-force feedback base and was the first wheel available for the PlayStation 4 and comes with a two-pedal set. Again, this is no vibration or force feedback. It's got a one-year warranty in the US and two years in some European countries. We're assuming it has a maximum of 270 degrees of rotation, but it's not listed in the specs. It does say that it has adjustable wheel sensitivity for precise driving, though. It's old Thrustmaster technology with their bungee system that creates a center spring feel. Mounting is with a desk or table clamp only for the wheel. Native PlayStation 4 compatibility where you can navigate in the user interface. 11 inch or 28 centimeters in diameter rim made of plastic with rubber grips. This wheel cannot be changed out. Two wheel mounted sequential paddle shifters. It has 11 action buttons including four on the wheel rim itself plus a D-pad, a two-pedal set with throttle and brake that have adjustable angle of inclination for each pedal, and in all honesty, it's kind of difficult for us to recommend this wheel since for an extra hundred bucks, uh, you can start a more hardcore sim racing career with the next wheel that we're talking about, and that's the Thrustmaster T150. Coming in at $199.95, the T150 is Thrustmaster's latest offering and was released in September of 2015. It comes in an officially licensed PlayStation version, as well as a Ferrari branded version. It comes with two basic pedal sets similar to what we saw with the T80. Warranty is for one year in the US and two years in some European countries. It's compatible with the PC, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4. It's got 1080 degrees of rotation down to 270 and it is adjustable. There's 12 bits of resolution or 4096 steps in the wheel and 10 bits of resolution or 1024 steps in the pedals. It's a mixed belt, pulley and gear system and the force feedback motor is brushed. Mounting is with a desk or table clamp only for the wheel. Internal memory and upgradable firmware native PlayStation 4 compatibility where you can navigate in the user interface, 11 inch, 28 centimeter in diameter rim made of plastic with rubber grips, and like the T80, this wheel cannot be changed out. It's got two 5 inch or 13 centimeter tall wheel mounted sequential paddle shifters, 13 action buttons including two on the base plus a D-pad, and a two pedal set with throttle and brake that can be hard mounted. So. If you have a chassis you want to hard mount it, you mount it with uh, M6 screws, pedals aren't moving anywhere. Exactly. And we're not sure about that on the T80. Uh, you know, since we don't have them, <laughs> I'm assuming you can since they look like the same pedals as I, the T150. I would assume it's the same casing. But that's an assumption that we're making. Again, we would recommend you going with this wheel anyway. Yes. Options available for the T150, you can use the T3PA or T3PA Pro pedals and the T500 RS pedals can also use the TH8A shifter in conjunction with this set. You can also use, as a matter of fact, a set of Logitech or Fnatic pedals with an aftermarket adapter. A maxed out package with the T3PA Pro pedals and TH8A shifter retails for just under $500, but our recommended upgrade would be a set of T3PA pedals with the T150, and that package would run for just under $300. Music 
Next up, our first offering and only offering on this list from Logitech, the G29. The G29 is the successor of the G27 and was released in June of 2015 and is listed at $399 but has been as low as $286 briefly on Amazon. But I think it's back up to $349, $399 range right about now. It's an officially licensed Sony PlayStation product and features a three pedal set. Warranty is for two years. It's compatible with the PC, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4. It has 900 degrees of rotation maximum. The wheel is 16 bits of resolution, or 65,536 steps. And the pedals are 8 bits, or 256 steps. It's dual motor helical gear drive system. Mounting is with a built-in clamp system, or it can be hard mounted. Native PlayStation 4 compatibility where you can navigate in the user interface. 11 inch or 28 centimeters in diameter rim made of metal with a leather grip. The wheel cannot be changed out. It's got two metal wheel mounted sequential paddle shifters, 14 action buttons plus the red dial and a D-pad. Comes with the same three pedal set that you would have found on the G27 except for the brake on this set is progressive or has been modified, basically. Options available for the G29 are the driving force shifter that retails for an additional $60. And you can also use the G27 shifter and pedals with this base. Maxed out package with the driving force shifter retails for just under $460. Next up is the Thrustmaster T300, which was released in October of 2014. It was the first force feedback wheel option on the PlayStation 4 and now comes in many different packages. Originally, you could get it with the PlayStation or Ferrari branding. Now you can buy the base on its own and then fit it with an ecosystem upgrades you choose. You can buy the wheel with the original two pedal set or you can go with the best deal of all and go with the integral set. Warranty is for one year in the US and two years in some European countries. Compatible with the PC, PS3, and PS4. 1080 degrees to 270 degrees of rotation that's adjustable on the fly. 16 bits of resolution or 65,536 steps in the wheel. 10 bits of resolution or 1024 steps in the pedals. Belt driven force feedback mechanism. Force feedback motor is brushless. Mounting is with a desk or a table clamp or you can hard mount it. Internal memory and upgradable firmware. Native PlayStation 4 compatibility where you can navigate in the user interface. It has an 11 inch or 28 centimeter diameter rim that's made of metal with full rubber wrap and the rim can be changed out. There's two five inch or 13 centimeter tall wheel mounted sequential paddle shifters, 13 action buttons, including two on the base plus a D-pad. It's got a two pedal set with throttle and brake that can be hard mounted. And you can also purchase the integral set that comes with the three pedal T3PA option. And speaking of options, you can get the T3PA, T3PA Pro pedals, or the T500 RS pedals, and they all work with this base. You can also use the TH8A shifter. Uh, and just like the T150, you can use a set of Logitech or Fanatic pedals with an aftermarket adapter. All Thrustmaster rims are also compatible with this base and there's seven different ones to choose from. Currently they include the T500 RS rim, T300 PS4 rim, the GTE rim, the TM28 leather, the 599 Evo Alcantara, the Ferrari F1, and even the Thrustmaster TX. Xbox One 458 RAM works. So now let's look at the package variations for the T300. And first up is the base only, which retails for $249.99. The wheel and two pedal set retails for $349.99. The integral with the 599 Evo Alcantara rim and T3PA pedals retails for $469.99 which is currently in pre-order status and will be available on December 5th. And we feel this is the best package to go with. And with the Integral package and a TH8A shifter, it's gonna run you about $620. Now onto the two higher end wheels in this buyer's guide, starting with the Thrustmaster T500 RS. It was released in January of 2011, and it was initially developed for the PlayStation 3 and PC. It set the benchmark for high-end peripherals on the console and is still being sold to this date. When the PlayStation 4 was launched, the T500 worked with the first ever racing title for that platform, 
Drive Club. The T500RS is paired with a quality three pedal set that can also be inverted. Warranty is for one year in the US and two years in some European countries. It's compatible with the PC, PS3, and PS4. It has 1080 to 270 degrees of rotation that is adjustable on the fly. 16 bits of resolution or 65,536 steps in the wheel. 10 bits of resolution or 1024 steps in the pedals. Belt driven force feedback mechanism. Force feedback motor is brushed. Mounting is available with a desk or table clamp and you can hard mount it as well. It's got internal memory and upgradable firmware. Now this wheel does not have native PlayStation 4 compatibility so you'll need to navigate to the game with the DualShock gamepad and then switch over to the wheel to do your driving. This setup comes with a 12 inch or 30 centimeter in diameter rim made of metal with full rubber wrap that can be changed via Thrustmaster's quick release system. It's got two six and a half inch or 17 centimeter tall metal base mounted sequential paddle shifters that do not move with the wheel. It has 11 action buttons, including two on the base plus a D-pad. It's a three pedal set that can be hard mounted. You can also adjust the pedal faces. The T500 has the same option list as a T300, which we just went over. So we're going to skip that. And if you want to remember what those were, just rewind. Yeah, seven rims, all the pedals, shifter, all that stuff, all compatible with the T500 as well. And there's currently only one package available for the T500, and it comes with the GT style rim and retails for $595. For a long time, they had the F1 integral set. So you can get it with this rim right here uh, with the base and the pedals, but they, I, I only found that in Europe or in UK and they may be in some other locations, but they had like two units left. Yeah. It was not available in the US anymore. So pretty much the only way you can get it is with the GT rim. Last but not least is the Fnatic CSW V2. Originally released in late 2014, you could only obtain one with an invite code if you are a previous owner of a Fnatic product. The invite only purchase method has been lifted and the V2 is available to the general public now. The CSW V2 starts at $599 for the base only and we'll get to the price of a full package after we tell you more about it. Warranty on this is for two years. In regards to compatibility, it's the only wheel on this list that's compatible with the PC, PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. It has 900 degrees to 270 degrees of rotation that's adjustable on the fly through the wheel's tuning menu. It has 16 bits of resolution, or 65,536 steps in the wheel. It can have up to 10 bits with the Club Sport V3 pedals and 8 bits or 256 steps with all other pedals. It's belt driven force feedback mechanism. Force feedback motor is brushless. Mounting is via hard mount only. It has internal memory and upgradable firmware. Just like the T500, it does not have native PlayStation 4 compatibility, so you'll need to navigate to the game with the DualShock gamepad. There are currently 11 different rims to choose from as the base doesn't come with one. Paddle shifters are included in the hub and with some of the rims that have the button and paddles integrated. Currently at Fnatic's website, there are two pedals you can use with the V2. The Club Sport V3s or the CSR pedals. The V3s retail for just under $300 and the CSRs, which we wouldn't recommend, are $79.95. You can also use G25, G27, or G29 pedals with an optional adapter. You would also be able to use Fnatic CSR Elites or the original V1 and V2 Club Sport pedals if you can find them secondhand. The options vary greatly with this base and so do the prices. On the low end, you can get this base for $600, the F1 rim for $180, and then $80 for the CSR pedals, and you would be at $860, all the way up to $1,300 with the Xbox One hub and one of the many rims available with the Club Sport V3 pedals. Something that you need to know about this wheel is that it's only compatible with two titles currently, Project Cars and F1 2015. It doesn't work with Drive Club, but I have a feeling it's gonna work with Assetto Corsa and we'll see what's gonna happen with Gran Turismo. So there you have it. Now we're gonna get on to some final thoughts and it may sounded kind of repetitive as we went through this. Again, 
This is just a buyer's guide to let you guys know what's out there and available for the PlayStation 4. We get, we get asked all the time, what wheel should I get? And basically between this and all of our reviews, that should answer your question. So of the six choices that we went over, we would recommend only three of them really. The T150, T300, and Logitech G29. These three wheels offer the best bang for your buck and really just perform the best. Yeah, and they're really the most practical options yes. of the six. And the T80 we would pretty much scratch off the list because it doesn't have force feedback. Uh, the T500 is kind of starting to become obsolete. And the CSW V2 is kind of priced a little out of, you know, practical range for just being used on the PlayStation 4. Yes. Now, if you, if you wanted to run on all the platforms, then that's probably your best option because if you think about it, you'd have to buy another wheel to race on the Xbox One. But with the CSW, if you get the hub and everything, wrap it all into one, you could race pretty much on every current available platform. Exactly. So, John, if you could just pick one package for the PlayStation 4 only, which one would it be? I think the T300 Ferrari Integral Package is probably the best deal out there in sim racing right now. For $469, you get you know T300 base, which is a very solid base. You get the T3PA pedals, which are very good with the conical brake mod. And then, almost most of all, you get that really nice Alcantara rim, which gives you a little bit larger diameter rim, and it's just really nice. Yeah, and I agree with that. You know, another thing I wanted to add to that too, and we've talked about this a little bit, uh, is Let's say you did want to race, you got that wheel, the T300, and you wanted to race on the Xbox One. Now all you would need is the TX Base, the Thrustmaster TX Base, which they sell alone. So for another 260 bucks or whatever it runs for, you'd have your rim, you'd have your pedals, and then you can run on the Xbox One as well. So that, if you were able, to, and that still puts you in under the price of a quality Fanatic CSW, but the CSW is, a higher quality setup. It is. It's higher quality. You wouldn't have to switch it out. But like you said, switching out the bases wouldn't be too painful if you set it all up right. No, it, it, it's a quick swap. Yes. So, and I agree with John as far as the T300 goes. I think bang for the buck, uh, quality of force feedback, uh, the fact that you can change out all the rims, uh, you have all your choices of pedals which you really don't need much more than those T3PA pedals. They're a quality set of pedals as it is. Uh, the T300 is a, is a great way to go. And not that, again, if you're just starting out, you may want to consider the T150 for 200 bucks, which you can upgrade the pedals on. You can use the TH8A shifter. The Logitech G29 is a good offering. I'd say those three, you know, right in the middle there, are pretty much your best options and the most practical. Again, and we mentioned that, but... Uh, T500, that's you know almost 600 bucks on the obsolete side, brushed motor. Uh, the CSW, more on the high end side. Really for somebody, we would say, that really wants to transition to the PC, because it makes for a, a quality PC setup. Yes. So anything else before we go? No, I think that should give you guys all a very extensive look at all your options if you're a PlayStation user, and even if you're potentially looking to transition to PC eventually. Yep, or like we said, with some of these with the Xbox One too, you'd have some options there too. So we would appreciate a thumbs up or like on this video. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you got a lot out of this. Remember, all the links uh, for our reviews are in the description here. We may even put annotations up along the way with links to the reviews. So hopefully you get a lot out of this. For John Sable, I'm Darren Ganji. We'll see you guys next time.